take us through the process of, of getting here, the conversations you had, and, and, and maybe why this is a, a good landing spot for you. Uh, you know, just uh, coming in here and meeting uh, John Lynch and just talking to the staff here and just seeing how this organization is, is gelling and the places that they're going, I'm excited to be a part of it. Well, we heard Bob say your name. I want to hear you say your name. It's Jeremiah Atalchu. Okay. What makes this 49ers team an attractive fit for you? Uh, it's a great fit for me because it just it represents everything that I'm about and just the first class manner that the uh, you know uh, John is running this organization with is just amazing and uh, I think a lot of guys are excited to be at work and just I, the one thing I noticed was just how happy everybody was you know in the organization and I only only wins can come out of that. Did you meet uh, Jarek and Weston? I did. We actually caught the same uh, ride to the facility this morning. They were already signed at the time. Uh -huh. How similar is, is what they're doing here to, to what you guys did last year in, in Los Angeles? Uh, yeah, it's very similar. Our coach uh, uh, Sally comes from the same uh, uh, family tree as Gus Bradley, so uh, definitely a lot of continuity uh, coming into this defense. And, and what did you play? I mean, were you on uh, both sides? I, pray, uh, I played the Leo position. Okay. Yeah. And, and was that one of the you know the the factors in, in making this choice that the, the 49ers really don't have a uh, a well-defined guy playing playing Leo at this at this point. Definitely one of the factors, and definitely just to, to um, add a boost to the you know to the edge rush and knowing what I can do and what my skill sets are is basically to, to help make the quarterback step up. So the guys on the inside are are plenty talented enough. So I think my skill sets fit right into what we're trying to do. What is your skill set? Uh, rushing the passer and getting getting sacks. Uh, Health-wise, how are you feeling? Or was this last season, were you pretty healthy? I was healthy the entire season. I was ready to go week one. And I was, you know, uh, fortunately, I didn't get the opportunities that I needed. What, what would you say to people? Cause you were a second-round pick. And yeah. so I'm sure you and, and others are not th thrilled with all the production you've had so far in your career. How would you explain kind of what's happened to this point? Definitely a uh, learning process. You know, it was definitely my year to, to really grow and run the footman race before I could run with the horses. So that's just the way I looked at it. I basically spent the entire year practicing after playing a lot of games before I was 23 years old. So I played played about 30 something games, you know, before mm -hmm. I was turned 20. I got into the league at 21. So I had a ton of production and, you know, I didn't have the opportunities that I did. So now I'm ready to take advantage of it here. Was that just not a fit with you in the new regime there? Or? It was just a mix of you know things. I got injured in 2016, mm -hmm. so that definitely played a part. Or do you come here with any like you know cliche chip on your shoulder? You feel like something to prove to to people who? who I don't have anything to prove to anybody. I, the only thing I have to prove is to myself, and just going through my process and just the growth that I've experienced in the past couple of years, you know, has prepared me for this for this opportunity. What do you want to prove to yourself? I want to prove to myself that I'm, you know, I am who I am, and I know who I am. So as a player, and you know what I've done in my production up until this point, and you know, and where I've come from as a player really speaks for itself. You talked about the the upbeat vibe and the scheme. I'm just kind of curious on a free agency general comment by them having Jimmy Garoppolo in quarterback. How much more does that make this an attractive place? Oh, very attractive. Uh, just even, uh, you know, I was at the Senior Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, and at the time, he wasn't the highest rated guy at the Senior Bowl, but I just remember the you know the type of leadership that he presented himself with, and how guys gravitated to him. And his team had energy. I wanted to be on his team at the, you know at the Senior Bowl, and you know just the way the guys practiced with him and played with him, it was it was amazing. It was almost like a Drew Brees kind of feel vibe. You didn't sack him at the Senior Bowl, did you? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> Are there things playing behind Melvin and Joey that you're able to pick up? Off the field that, that might not be apparent while they're playing. Absolutely, there was a lot of you know a lot of things we did scheme wise to, to benefit them. And when a team is focusing on one talented pass rusher, how you can mix it up. So there's a lot of things uh, carry over that you know that I can bring over here and you know kind of you know get that started. You know that's basically what me and Melvin started in 2015, and this, the sacks just started rolling in for the team. So yeah, what's it like putting on new colors for the first time? And a new logo. It's amazing. Yeah, it feels amazing. Yeah, it's ex it's exciting to put on some new colors. I love I love powder blue, but this this is I can get used to this. <laughs> they obviously don't have an Ingram or a Bosa here. I mean, as far as you coming here, have they said, you know, 
uh, you can compete for a starting spot? Or what have they told you about exactly your opportunity? My opportunity is to come in here and earn everything every day, you know, whatever that role may be, just uh, bring leadership. Uh, everything that I've learned in uh, San Diego and L.A., uh, being on the, with the Chargers for four years, just bringing that over and uh, working with the new staff and working with my new teammates and just trying to be all be the best we can be every day and go out there and put everything out, out there on the field. Is there anybody here on the coaching staff or that you know? Or are we just getting to know everybody? I'm just getting to know everybody. It's kind of, yeah, because I, I had a, a, like five different position coaches in between San Diego and L.A., so it was uh, – it was kind of funny that I didn't really know anybody on the staff. So it's just, it's just that fresh, young energy is definitely felt throughout the whole uh, building. And do you have special teams by you? I do. What do you do? I can do it. I can run. Okay. <laughs> I can run and hit. So, okay. yeah. Well, when they're, you know, talking to you about a contract, do they send you some film or do they talk about, or is it just common knowledge that, that this scheme is the same kind of, tree as, as as the one that you were in before? Essentially common knowledge and just looking, looking the, you know, your coach in the eye, looking the, the staff in the eye, the people that say they're going to come in and this is what we're going to work on and this is how we're going to get better as a unit. This is how you're going to get better as a player and this is what you're going to do to help us as a team. And those three things and just looking at all the, you know, the, the decision makers in the eye, head coach, GM, you know, sitting down with them and just talking about, what, you know, what, what direction the team is going. I feel like it fit me, my skills, not only my skill sets, but, you know, who I am as a, as a worker. I know they, part of the same scheme tree is, is Richard Sherman, and when they got him some edge rushers a few years ago, he, he exploded. And I know that, you know, the pass rush has to coincide with, with the secondary. How excited are you to, to be playing next to a guy like that who has seen so much success in this particular scheme? I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the leadership that he's going to bring to the locker room. I'm excited about what he's going to teach teach. You know, the younger guys in the locker room, uh, being in Seattle, I always admire the Seattle energy and the, the way they played de on defense. That's the way I saw myself as a player coming out of college. And, you know, most of my time in San Diego, I always, you know, had my eye on the way they played as a unit. So I think he's definitely going to bring that fire into the locker room. The talent is all there. Now, the, you know, the fire, the leadership and the energy, I think that's something that he, he knows firsthand. You know, it's any anybody can't just walk in here and try to bring that in here. But him as a player, I think he definitely brings that to the Niners. How would you describe maybe your style or skill set as a pass rusher? Uh, I'm just relentless. So I think my just relentless. I have, I have great burst, great great speed off the edge. So I think that relentlessness is going to help us out a lot. You know, uh, with what uh, the, the interior guys are already doing, Buckner. You know, I watched a lot of film on him, and I was excited. I actually wanted him to come to San Diego when I was in you know in my second year. And I thought it would help, you know, help, help me out. So now we're, you know, now we're together. So that's going to be exciting. That's good. Did you did you meet Robert Sala today? I did. I met him. Uh, I met him yesterday. Yeah. Did he share the all gas no break mantra? Oh yeah, I got I got the wristband too. Right there. <laughs> A G M B. There you go. Oh, yeah. Don't forget extreme violence. Huh? Extreme violence. Oh yeah, of course. So did they give out those little wristbands? Is that a 49ers thing? Or I don't know. I just, he's, you know, he was like, here, here's a wristband. I was like, oh, let me get two of them. So oh, that's cool. awesome. Yeah.